Ryan, student physical therapist. In this video, we'll be learning how to use the four point gait pattern and the two point gait pattern using lost strand crutches. The majority of this video will be comparing the two gait patterns, but at the end, I'll be teaching you how to return to the wheelchair using lost strand crutches from the standing position. Fitting of the lost strand crutches and learning how to go from sitting position to standing position is covered in Josh's video, Skill 36. When teaching the patient a new gait pattern, be sure to demonstrate that pattern for the patient. This is what I'll be doing next. So for the four point gait pattern, you're going to maintain three points of contact with the ground at all times, providing the most stability. The two-point gait pattern should be utilized when the patient can demonstrate full weight bearing on both lower limbs. This most closely resembles normal walking and the crutches are mainly there just for assistance. I'll demonstrate that for you now. All right, now we're ready to have Josh do the four-point gait pattern. Recall the proper positioning of the patient and yourself, the therapist. For the patient, we want to maintain upright posture, forward gaze, and then also feet standing shoulder width apart to provide good stability. And then the lost strand crutches should be placed a little forward and lateral to the patient's fifth metatarsal. For the therapist, remember that you want to stand on the patient's impaired limb. In this instance, Josh's left lower extremity will demonstrate his impaired limb. You want to have a hold of the patient with a supinated grip on the gait belt. Make sure that your feet are in an L position with your forward foot facing the direction of movement that Josh is going to walk and your rear foot slightly behind the patient. You can also put one hand on the shoulder just as extra protection. Now we're in proper position. So Josh is going to do the four point gait pattern. So Josh, please advance your right crutch and bring your left foot in line, toes in line with the lost hand crutch and continue with the left crutch advancing and then the right foot in line with the crutch. And then you're going to continue this sequence. Very good, left foot forward, and then left crutch. And now for the two point gait pattern, recalling the proper positioning, Josh is going to advance his right crutch and left foot at the same time. And now his left crutch and right foot at the same time. Very good, continue the sequence. I'm maintaining proper positioning, and Josh is as well. Now we've already demonstrated the two gait patterns. Now we're gonna learn how to safely bring Josh from the standing position into the wheelchair seat. You'll notice that I still am maintaining the proper positioning of the therapist with my feet in the L position and then my hands located on the shoulder and supine on the gait belt. So Josh, if you'll back up slightly so that your calves come in contact with the wheelchair seat. All right, excellent. Now while maintaining hold of the gait belt, make sure that the wheelchair is still locked Now we want Josh to transfer the lost strand crutches into one arm. And if that side is impaired, he's going to bring both crutches into the impaired side of the body. So he's going to transfer the right crutch into the left arm. Very good. And now he's going to bring the right strong side of the body and put his right hand on the wheelchair seat and gently lower himself all the while I'm maintaining hold of the gait belt, lowering him down. He can adjust to a comfortable position and we're all good.